Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. Um, and uh, before I start, uh, this is a review video, but uh, before I start going into the reviews, I will say it <clears throat> again. Right now I'm working on uh, uh, clearing the review list. Uh, so I'm trying to get everyone's review done uh, within this week. Uh, but I do not accept any more reviews right now because uh, I need to create some more time for my uh self and uh some other things so and i don't want to have a waiting list of 10 20 people um so that's why i'm saying this every video before i start the review uh i do not accept any more requests right now because uh you'll probably have to wait uh more than a week or more than two weeks maybe um and then it's not going to be val valid uh anymore like uh, at least you might have uh, had a question about something and then later on you actually did it or maybe you you got something uh, which uh, right now is relevant but later in the week it's not as relevant anymore you know so that's uh, one of the reasons why I don't uh, accept them because I have not currently I don't have the time for them uh, but to start off we're going to um, do red reddish game uh, his uh, his uh, question was, hey, I need help for my next six star and my arena defense. He is a uh, conqueror, one golden star I saw. Um, so let's check it out. He has some uh, six stars already. And he wants to add something to the team. So let's have a look at this monsters really. Uh, what, are, what are we playing with? I see you got an Arnold, which is a good unit. Got a Belladon here. Uh, Amon. Windendeen, that's also a good unit. Uh, what else? Do we have anything special? We have a Darien. And we got a lot of fodder. I don't think there's going to be such amazing stuff in there back there. You also have a water sky dancer and lure. Okay, um, so what do six star? They we have um, DPS at six star. So like you have Tyrone, which is control of DPS. We have Sigmar's heavy DPS. We have Rogue, which is also heavy DPS. Uh, so what we would like to have is probably a support unit, a unit that could support all your units, but it has to be a unit that benefit from being a six star as well. Um, this question about what the six star next is really relevant, but it's always based on, um, like, yeah, what do you need? What do you want? Um, that's pretty important. What do you want? Sometimes it's not exactly the question, what do you need? Uh, but you have some good DPS, so I suggest you to go for a support. Uh, I wouldn't suggest you to go for Chloe, I think, because Chloe is gonna do the same at low, at five stars. But for ah, I think I think she's fine for five stars right now. No, yeah, so same goes for Megan. I think my um, my preference goes to uh, Amon, and why Amon? Because Belladon is not ruined. Uh, if you have good runes for Belladon, I would prefer Belladon over Amon. Uh, but if you don't have runes for Belladon, then I would go for Amon because he actually has runes, and uh, that's uh, they're not too bad. They're not too shabby at all. So I think Amon because of the reason that he has good runes, and I don't see you having any runes for Belladon. But let's say you have really good violent runes for Belladon. Um, and like just uh, nice uh, six star runes or good five star runes. Uh, Belladon, I think, is uh, better overall than Amon, but Amon kinda does the same um, for PVE at least, and for PvP is also pretty useful uh, for as a healer. Like he's also a really reliable healer, uh, but Belladon brings uh, that uh, dispel. And that uh, armor break to the table. But since you already have an uh, Inugami, you don't really need the armor break that much. 
So I think I would go for Amon. He is pretty good runed. Um, and he has uh, the 100% crit. So uh, I guess that's a really good unit to upgrade. This is also uh, for everyone else. It's really important when you want a 6 star unit. Don't just 6 star a unit that you think is really amazing. But we'll also take a look at what runes, which units have the good runes. Like, for example, if you six star a Belladon but only have crap runes on him, he's not going to be that beneficial. Uh, but if you have an Aemon with great runes, like here, it's going to be way better having him at six star than Belladon. And uh, Aemon, if he, if you six star Aemon, he will help you get better runes for Belladon. So that's good. Um, yeah, I would go with that. And for your defense, uh, I think, what's your speed, 63, that's not that fast, yeah. Try to work this uh, to plus 15 and try to get uh, some substats with speed on your uh, uh, Chloe. Because right now she's pretty slow. And this run is good, like if you upgrade this. I think you rerun a lot, but uh, like the 3, 4, uh, 5, and 6 slots are all uh, without substats that are good. So uh, I would work on that, but and after that, I would put uh, Tyrone, Chloe, Sigamarus, and Amon in your defense, or uh, Rogue. I think I would go with Rogue uh, because you don't really need to heal right now, but. To be honest, you don't have a big choice right now on defense because you're just going to put in your best units. Um, and that's currently your 6 star units. I do uh, would suggest Chloe because she's just really good. She could uh, help you win the game because as soon as she gets the Fnatic off, they have to wait so you can do your damage basically. Uh, you could put Aemon in there as well uh, and replace it for, for example, for uh, your Rogue or for your Sigamarus. Um, I will tell you this defense is not the greatest, um, but you have to work with something, right? You can't uh, leave it empty. And there's uh, that's just your best unit right now, so there's not much, uh, much I could say different. A defense, like a lot of people ask me, what should I put on my ear in the defense? And a lot of the, those people are actually not even, uh, they don't really have a choice. Like, as same for goes for you. I mean, you're starting to get your uh, offense teams together, offensive team together. Uh, and you're starting to climb to in the arena because you have some good units and some good runes on the units and 6-star and all that. And they're uh, scaled up probably uh, a bit. I think Sigamarus is a bit further in skills, I guess. Uh, and uh, yeah, d now you're starting to get that. Like, when you have your offensive team where you want it to be, then you can start working on arena defense. Because arena defense and offense are so different. Of course, there's a possibility that you could combine the two. Uh, but it's not something you would work towards right now, because it's not important. It's important to. Get a good attack team, uh, put that on defense as well, and then uh, just later on when you uh, have your attack team complete, go for the defense team, which probably pretty much is also good for PvE. So, uh, Redis Games, this was your review, and I'll be right back with the next review. Okay, I'm back with uh, Lannister's Depth. Uh, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, then it's probably from game Games of Thrones. Um, uh, his question was, I, well, his comment basically was, and then his question. Uh, I've been watching, uh, no, sorry, I'm just fucking this up. I've been playing this game since Christmas, and I need some focus. I need some help on what to focus on both monsters and farm sites. Plus, I would love to have some advice on what to use for elemental house, and as I'd love to awaken some four star units. But I can farm pretty much only be 5 and 6 without uh, other rep monsters. Um, okay. Uh, thanks for finding my videos useful. <laughs> uh, should I 
focus on arena at the moment or should I keep a level 1 slime in my defense to farm glory points? Also my rogue, uh, a rogue, whatever you want to call it, uh, can farm favor of again on normal, reliably and it's very fast. So I was wondering if I should keep buying premium packs or start buying XP boosters and refills. So let's just check his monsters out. He has a rogue, rogue, ra oak. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's I don't know what language uh, this uh, beast comes from, like where, in what history it is, uh, what mythical beast it is. So I have no clue how to pronounce it. Um, okay, we got a Megan, which is good. Uh, you are not ruined him yet, I guess. Fire Sky Dancer, Rogue, Ramagas, Darien, Konamiya, also a Lulu. Konamiya is the good one. Water Tailwist, I don't think he's the greatest, right? Uh, I think the Wind one is a lot better. Fire Samurai, Bernard, some of the Wind Dunes, Belladon, another Sky Dancer. Ah, uh, you got some stuff to work with. Light bear man. Ooh, nice. You've been doing uh, your homework and some devil ones. Um, you are having a lot of questions. I noticed. And what I would suggest is the following. Uh, I understand you want to farm those elemental halls, and uh, I think you can. Uh, there's no, well, I don't really have a, a strategy for you that I could give for the elemental halls. Uh, basically, take the opposite element or neutral element with you, um, if you can, against the halls. It would be awesome if you could farm B7, because there the drop rates are pretty, pretty good. But if you can only do B5 and B6, um, then uh, maybe just do that for the time being. It sucks, but uh, I started out like that as well. Uh, it's not like I could do B7 or straight of the bat. Uh, oops, that was my mosin. Um, and what I would suggest is actually start to gather a team of 5 stars that you want to start using on late game. Um, like start planning ahead which team you want to use and then uh, if you have that in your mind then you should uh, stop buying premium packs because I think you already have enough monsters to work with and start buying uh, XP boosters and when you have an XP booster then you should buy a refill uh, because you want some more uh, units to be at 5 stars you gotta make a team composition basically uh, I see you have a lot of support uh, units uh, and a lot of, uh, well yeah, based not only support, I see you have a lot of uh, units already maxed out at 4 stars, but you haven't got a team. I mean, I, I definitely uh, think you should also get your light um, bearman up to a level and try to get as close to 100% uh, crit. But uh, what I think is uh, going to be smart thing to do is to figure out what team setup you want to use uh, a team setup that I think could be very, very useful is uh, Megan Rook, Rogue uh, the Wind Taoist um, Megan Rogue Wind Taoist Copper is that, is that okay? Well, you could do, well, it, okay, here's the deal. You could do uh, different things right now, because you have, you could go the defensive route, or you could go the offensive route. So this is where your preference lies. Because you could do, uh, for example, you could do uh, Megan Rogue, um, the Copper, and uh, the Theoist. Theoist is a defensive monster, but I think he's just really good. I think you want to keep uh, him in your setup. Or you could go, like, for example, uh, Ramagos, Darien, they're already 5 stars, so not much work there. Uh, Belladon and um, probably the Wind Theorist. 
because he's just good. <laughs> I like him a lot. He's a good unit. I, right now I can't really think of a best setup you could go with because you have a lot of things you could do. Um, but I will tell you which units I like and which I don't like. Ah, oh, damn it, I clicked on that again. So I like Megan, I like the Fire Ignigami, I like Ramagos, I like um, Darian, I like Konamiya. Um, I like the Wind Terrorist, the Wind Griffin, and uh, Belladon. Do I have a buffer right now? No, and Shannon. Those units I all like. Plus the Light Warbear, uh, no Warbear, Light Bear Man. Plus the Light Man. All those units I like to uh, work, if I were you, work on. And then between that you could make various uh, compositions that would be good. But in order to do that, I would start six star, uh, sorry, start five star and some more units. Like get this guy to five stars, and I actually um, would suggest you to get. Uh, let me check it real quick. HP percent, HP percent, and accuracy percent, because you want these skills to it. Like that will that will help you quite a lot. Um, yeah. I mean, it's a bit hard for me to uh, tell you what exactly you need to do, but I would just start uh, working on some of the units that I note there. Uh, it's not a real, it's not like one team, it's more like uh, a lot of good units together. And I would start farming uh, fodder so you could 5 star all these monsters and uh, awaken some of them. But uh, you only. I. If I would say what you would awaken, personally I would go for the Wind Theorist as an awakening, the Bernard. Um, would be nice to be awakened. And the Light Bear Man, for the rest uh, I wouldn't awaken anything yet. So that's a lot of wind, a little bit of light. And if you got that done, uh, you would be, uh, I think then if you have that, you could easily do a uh, higher um, halls of magic or whatever uh, and I suggest uh, actually to not buy any more premium packs right now because you kind of need to uh, make fodder to make more 5 stars that's what you need to do um, yeah and about the elements sorry man I don't really have too much advice on that I mean there's not much to it um, it's not like a real strategy I could think of that I could give you I think basically the strategy that you would use for giants or dragons is a good strategy there as well. So I would just focus on uh, some of these units like um, the, I'll, I would focus on getting uh, Konamiya to 5 stars, Winters, Bernard, uh, Awakened and to 5 stars and Belladon to 5 stars and uh, Shannon and then after that the Light Bearman. I would focus on those units right now, and then after that you should be able to uh, to do higher hulls and uh, start gathering uh, some of those essences to awaken uh, the units a bit easier. And uh, about your defense, you could definitely just farm for glory points right now, because do it doesn't really matter what you're going to put in defense right now, it's not going to make a huge difference so I would just keep uh, your ranking a little bit lower and uh, have it so you can just farm those glory points I never did that myself but uh, it, it, when I played it I, I just didn't knew about it either so uh, I hope I helped you a little bit because I'm a little bit vague here uh, I noticed but I don't really I for some, I can't really think straight at the moment I'm a bit tired and uh, I noticed that uh, here that I cannot think of a really insane setup personally what I would like uh, that that's something I could give you what I personally use is the Ramagos, Darion, uh, Belladon I use those a lot and then I have a speed leader uh, often or uh, even a third unit uh, Iona but obviously you don't have an Iona so you could go with that team and then maybe add uh, Megan there like Megan lead, uh, Remigus, Belladon, uh, Darian, 
that would be a decent team actually to play with. You could also um, do a lot more other stuff with that team because it's really tanky and it's pretty good. So uh, if you would like to do that, that's actually a good option, in my opinion. Um, Dar Darian and um, Belladon are very good units that you will need anyways later on in the game. Uh, Megan is always uh, pretty useful and Remagus is also a really good unit late game. So uh, you might want to do that, uh, but it's up to you. You need to figure out what team is good. So what I want to ask you is just uh, leave a comment on my on the video uh, on a team composition you think is good. I really like the Wind Taoist. I think he's a bit overpowered with uh, his skills. He's probably not overpowered, but he's just really good. So I would incorporate him... Uh, if I could, but I don't really know where he fits in the best. But I know Remagus, Darien and Belladon is a pretty good combination. And adding Megan there will help you uh, do some more damage. And have some more uh, dispels. And obviously the leader skill will give you more power. Yeah, this was your review, man. Uh, I hope I helped you uh, with this. And... Uh, I'll see you guys uh, in the next uh, review, so be right back. Okay, I'm back with Nico. Um, his question was, hi Blackie, can you tell me which are the best monsters to defend and possibly Giants with hand team? So let's check him out. Um, oh, you got some 6 stars already. Wow, nice. You got some quality units over here. Wow. Uh, the best monsters to defend? Whoa, this guy... This guy has everything, Jesus. Uh, yeah. Oh, I want him. I need him for fusion. Okay, this is gonna be tough. You have a Chloe, even? You have two Chloe's. You have two Chloe's, okay, that's sick. Um, right now, for defense, I think the best setup you could possibly do. Uh, by looking at your monsters, is Chloe, together with uh, Katrina, together with uh, blah 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 blah. Um, Megan? Megan is that smart? How fast is Hmm, I don't know. Megan might not be the best there. Hmm. Chloe, Megan, Katrina, and Copper? Would that be decent? It feels a bit strange. Uh, but that's right now. I think I would. I I'm gonna give you a defense that you could work towards. Cause I I know. Okay, Chloe is gonna be one of your main units in the defense. That's for sure. I saw you had a a dead knight, uh, the wind one, and I also saw you have a water one. Actually, I think having both on defense wouldn't even be bad at all. Because uh. This dead knight can supply and so rest someone. He can AoE to decrease their attack and has a heal debuff. This dead knight can do the AoE as well and uh, basically the same thing as uh, as the Brian. But this one has uh, attack power or defense for two turns, so this could break the defense as well. And he has uh, protects allies from that, uh, removes all harmful effects and gains immunity, which is really good. That's how, then you have your Chloe and you have your Dead Knight that will give you immunity. And uh, he will remove some of the debuffs, so that's really good. And then in addition, I would put Belladon in there. So my team that I had in mind for you is uh, Chloe, Belladon, a Wind Dead Knight and a Water Dead Knight. Uh, you could choose to go for a uh, double Chloe even on defense, but I don't think that's the greatest. Uh, having the wind that night and the uh, water that night, is th I think it's uh, better, better overall. And uh, it's a pretty strong team um, for stalling. Uh, and it, it's going to do some de okay damage because... Keep in mind, what's going to happen is that Baladon is going to attack a unit, defense break him. Both your um, dead knights will start attacking it. And they, they put on that HP uh, disturb, which means the enemy uh, cannot heal the unit unless they remove the debuff. 
and as long as they cannot remove it, uh, the unit will just die eventually. I mean, it, it, it's not a defense that's gonna win like a lot of games, but it's also a defense that won't uh, lose a lot of matches because uh, a lot of people will just never uh, get your through your defense. So that's a possibility that I uh, that I saw. Um, obviously, there's always another option to go with your defense. You could also go the offensive way. So then you could put in like Chloe together with Katrina. Uh, which is a very good combo, obviously. And I, I'm just wondering. Ooh, you need to put some runes on your uh, Ramagos. A very good unit. Don't leave him unruned. Uh, I think like an offensive way would be Chloe, Megan, Lucian, and Katrina. It would be pretty decent on uh, offense, but also. You could put this team in defense and uh, get some wins out of the fact that your Chloe uh, speeds up, is faster than the enemy, and uh, does fanatic. And then later on, you make and buzz up, and uh, your units wreck the whole team. You also could do it a bit more defensive, uh, which is also uh, possible, and take Lucian out and go for Arnold, for example. Uh, that's also a possibility. Or switch, you could even switch it up with uh, these three units. You could just make any combination and put Megan and Chloe there. They're all decent teams there. Um, and what you could do possibly be 10 with? Well, to be honest, I think you already have a clue what you could be 10 with, could do be 10 with. But uh, for good measure, let's see what we uh, could put together. I personally think uh, running the Phoenix as leader would be good because you gain a lot of HP. Uh, a war would be pretty damn awesome. Um, a war, let me see, Phoenix, a war, Chloe, um, Belladon, Phoenix, a war, Chloe, Belladon, Amon. That would be, that would definitely would be working it. You could also, instead of uh, Aman, you could also go with uh, your Dead Knight, which would be good as well. So I would go something like that. So, uh, Water Phoenix, Awa, Chloe, uh, Belladon, and Aman, or Belladon and the Wind Dead Knight. That's what I would do. You could even replace the Wind Dead Knight for the Water Dead Knight, that, that's not like. Basically, if you can survive um, with all units pretty easily, this unit will uh, make sure that you don't get those debuffs. Uh, if you sometimes have a weak unit therein, uh, your Dead Knight could help you out there. But they're both really good because uh, they gain a lot of HP from uh, the Phoenix. So that's definitely how I would play it if I were you. You could also, uh, also do Phoenix, Awa, Chloe, Bernard. And Belladon, uh, that this would also work pretty well. I think as you will gain a lot of speed, so your uh, oh well, will make sure that the enemy doesn't attack that often anymore, which is good. And you get the defense break from uh, Bernard, which you don't, which you didn't have before. Uh, well, wait, we have Belladon. I think Bernard is not the best option here. Because you have some quality units, but he's definitely good. I mean, he will speed up your team quite a bit. But I don't want to take Bernard. Well, I think you should do it like the first setup I said, because I think that's just more solid. Uh, no, it's not more solid. I don't know. It could be both, like Phoenix Leader and then Hawa Chloe. It depends a little bit on how much uh, how much health you need, really. How much do you need to survive? Because if you can survive with uh, Phoenix, Awa, Chloe, and uh, Belladon, then you could add, if you can survive easily, you could just add more damage. Or add more speed, like add Bernard. Or add, like, Lucian to make the run faster, you know? So that's something you uh, have to figure out. I think what I would do is focus like on your 
Phoenix get his uh, his uh, runes up and uh, make sure you have uh, a wires ready um, and your glowy, which are near to ready, and then just uh, check out what you need the most and Belladon and Belladon. He's pretty much ready, I think. Yeah, he's he's pretty much ready. So if you put those units together, I think you should do good on B10. Uh, right now you need to work on your runes and awakening this uh, Phoenix, but then uh, you should do be you should be fine. You have some really quality units, so you could try various things really. I think personally, if I were you, I would go um, Phoenix, Awa, Chloe, Belladon, and then just add Lucian or um, or Copper or uh, Katrina, because you could just rape through the first stages and then just go at the boss and basically if you time Chloe's fanatic good uh, you won't die at all and if you take some damage you just heal up so I guess uh, that would be the best but if you notice that it's hard to survive you could add some some defensive units some healers like Aman um, or like one of the wind or water that night so yeah, this is your review and it's going to be the last review as well. Um, normally I would do more, but I'm a bit tired and uh, I noticed my quality of the video. Well, the quality of the video is not bad, but I noticed I have a hard time uh, doing the reviews right now because I'm a bit tired. Uh, and I don't want to let the quality suffer. So I'll just do these three and leave it uh, here. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys don't mind too much about that. I mean you don't really have a you could mind whatever you want right but it doesn't really matter but uh yeah i just uh not gonna do uh, any more right now because i'm a bit tired and uh, i don't want to let the quality go down because i'm tired uh the advice that i gave now was uh i definitely think the advices that i gave now were good but i also think that i um have a hard time figuring out what to say and what to do in your situation because i'm tired right now um, okay, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you, see you guys in the next video. Bye.